Verify that the support is good. I like to have the handles forward, so when I'm done, I just reach in and I pull up and I can remove it. This one here, I have to come in and reach behind to lift up. That one with it forward is a lot easier to remove than this one with it behind. This is a 22 millimeter. Top nut and starting to round off. top nut out was a wobbly extension. Go to sensor. I would suggest doing the hard to get bolts first. You want to relieve the pressure of the hard to get the bolts while there's still pressure from the upper bolts.
back one requires a longer extension. FYI, there's two of these back here in, in the driver's side. That flange is in the way. I'm going to pop this out of here and lower the exhaust system and hopefully that will work. I hope that gives us the room. We're good. Remove the old gasket. There's one or two ways of putting these studs in. Vice grips. To make sure they're tight. Or you can double nut. millimeter lock them together I want to clean the head, it's get some of the dirt off. Use this style stone. Okay, I want to run a stone across here to remove any edges, but I don't want it, it's got to be coarse to catch on the gasket. So this is just any rough edges. WD-40 works really good with this. This is where there was a high spot that the stone removed. I like to clean my bolts before reinstalling them. And it makes putting it back together a lot easier.
on nuts. I like to put a little anisees on the surface. sequence usually starts with the center bolts you move your way out I like to do it in increments let's say about so I have a, a mirror right here so I can see on. there it is okay, I made a mistake here the bolt Port underneath. I forgot to verify threads. Put a brass wedge to move that bracket over. Let's hope that it works. I got some Vaseline there. And why I have Vaseline on the, in my toolbox. It's a lot easier to slide this in lubricated than it is to fight it dry. <laughs> See that? Forgot to go to this bottom bracket right here on the new one and run a tap in there. The new one, the thread was messed up and it caused a problem. Lesson learned, run a tap to that hole before you install the new one. Use a quarter inch drive with a quarter inch socket. Always finger start these things first. There you go. Normal tapping technique is do about two turns and then do a quarter turn back to cut off any threads. Turn it back a little bit. So I don't know what tools that you will need for your project. I can only share what tools I use for my project. You know, I use liquid wrench, some anises, not necessary, but I purchased a sensor socket set, an inch pound torque wrench, half inch, five eighths, 12 millimeter, 22 millimeter, breaker bar, inspection mirrors, a light source, and a Dremel with a wire brush to clean the mating surfaces. <laughs> 